As National Crime Victims' Rights Week comes to a close, thousands of people who have lost a loved one have gathered here in Riverside for the opportunity to show their support, share their stories, and show the real-life impact that crime has on everyone. So many faces, so much sadness, so many stories of loss. They murdered my son, they stabbed him in the heart right there, and they left him to die. One man <laughs> ran over my mom and my son and killed them all. Why are you and your family here today? Um, we lost love one last year. The family of Charlie Urbano came down to the victims' rights rally from the Coachella Valley to share his story. It was a car accident. It was a hit and run. On August 18, 2006, 17-year-old Charlie was a passenger in a car that was driving down Jefferson Street in Indio. According to his family, his car was struck by another vehicle. Charlie was killed. The other driver fled the scene. It's been really hard. It it's like he took all of us with him. What makes this family's loss even more devastating is that the other driver has not yet been found. It's just hard to even know that the person that caused us so much pain is still out there. Traveling down the dark road of grief with so many other people in pain brought Charlie's family some hope. Seeing all these people here and we're gathered here because we all lost someone makes me feel that their voice can be heard that something will be done about it. The district attorney here in Riverside says that he and his office are going to continue to fight for the people who are not here to fight for themselves. Reporting in Riverside, I'm Tanya McRae for KMIR 6 News.